Uh, guys, I appreciate your time uh, and congratulations on your new film. Thanks, dude. Thank you. Uh, this is a story that goes back to the original novel in 1938, one that has fascinated uh, the audience for a long time. So I wanted to ask you, when you were approached approach for this new modern adaptation, what element attracted you the most that made you say, yeah, I need to do this right now? Well, I think that the story is timeless. It's... Um... It's been fascinating since the 30s. It's been intriguing and explores so much um, in the guise of this like very thrilling gothic horror romance. Um, and I think that now is a great time to tell it because the movie was a long time ago. It's um, uh, And I think Ben Wheatley was the guy to do it. I think it suits his persona and the kind of movies he makes. So it was really exciting to me to kind of do it in this new imagine imagination imagining yeah how about you mr hammer what excited me about the project the most um i wanted to work with ben wheatley again uh i i, I think he is a phenomenal director um and uh and a bit of a grump but a good enough guy uh he he came and said he's making a, a adaptation of uh rebecca and i said the hitchcock film and he goes yeah i said do you want to make an adaptation of hitchcock and he was like yeah and i was like all right I'll go with you. Um, and then Lily was going to do it. And that was obviously really exciting to get to work with Lily um, and Kristen Scott Thomas and Keely Hawes. I mean, every, the, the cast was great. Uh, the locations were amazing. And it was a chance to get to make a movie, which is what I love to do. Uh, Mr. Hammer, it seems that like every time I see you on film, you're surrounded by beautiful uh, and exotic locations like Call Me By Your Name and The Man From Uncle, which, by the way, they're both awesome. So I want to ask you for uh, you and Ms. James as performers, how important is it to film in real locations whenever a production has the chance and how does this improve or affect your work in the film? Um, I mean, locations become a character. You know, it's, it, if, you're, if you're shooting in a beautiful location, it, it becomes something that everyone is interacting with, both the audience and the actors. Um, so it can be really informative. You know, I mean, people in you know, the south of France drink wine differently than they do in England. They eat food differently. They do everything differently. So it becomes very sort of like an informative part of the process, which I like. How about you, Miss James? Yeah, I totally agree. I mean, God, it's such a gift to really be somewhere where the, where the film is set. It, it, you know, you, you, you have to act less. It feels authentic. It means that you can just exist where you are and feed off the environment. And also it's really fun <laughs> to go to these places and to shoot. I think it also does something kind of amazing to the crew because you're all in it together and you're all that you're all staying in the same place. And I think it's often when you're shooting on locations, it's quite bonding. So um, we started our whole shoot in the South of France the first two weeks. So it was an amazing way, not only to start the movie at the beginning, which is a gift, um, to sort of set the foundations of the story and the characters, but also to like be in that environment with the whole cast and crew was a really, um, uh, uh, what's the word, like joining experience, like, you know, a bonding experience. Nice. Uh, before letting you guys go, uh, going back to the 1940 uh, film in black and white, I wanted to ask you uh, both, uh, which are some of your all time favorite black and uh, white films? Let's start with it, Ms. James. Oh my god, I can't I can't think of one <laughs> black and white maybe my brain is like but oh, I love the artist and that was more recently. That was amazing. Oh, okay, oh and yeah. what about Cold War film. that came out that was black and white recently? God, I love that movie. But from I mean Rebecca <laughs> Rebecca's pretty great. <laughs> um good answer. Good answer. Yeah. <laughs> you go. How, how about you, Mr. Uh, Hammer? Uh I, I think Newer black and white films, um, Pie by Aronofsky, and then nice. older, probably. Oh, I have one. Clear. I watched recently. That's old. It's French. Cleo a Sincacept. It's amazing. That's black and white by that incredible no, yeah. French director. I can't figure her name. Oh. Agnes Agnes oh. Varde or something. Yeah. Um, Varda. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. then uh, 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 Casablanca. Ooh. Yeah. Good one. Great choices, both. So, uh, guys, congratulations on your new film, and thank you for taking a little bit of your time. I appreciate it. Stay safe. Thanks, dude. Bye. Bye, -bye. You too. Take care. Bye.